Messenger Angel. I transform lives. Today is Thursday, 29th of April, 2021. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is, We Have Authority. Our theme scripture is taken from Luke 22, verse 53, and it says, When I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Hallelujah. We are in a time when there's so much abuse of political power in many parts of the world, Pastor begins. There are some hostile laws, policies, and actions in some states designed to be inimical to Christians because of their faith. If you read the story of Jesus' arrest before his resurrection, you will see that these kinds of injustices aren't new. Jesus experienced the abuse of power in high places. John 18 recounts how Judas led the soldiers and officers sent by the high priests and Pharisees to arrest Jesus. Knowing all that was about to befall him, the Lord went out to them and asked, Whom do you seek? And they answered, Jesus of Nazareth. Then Jesus said, I am he. Immediately Jesus spoke and identified himself. The soldiers and temple police were knocked out by the power of God and fell to the ground. Luke 22, 52-53 of the New King James Version tells us, Then Jesus said to the chief priests, captains of the temple, and the elders who had come to him, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs? When I was with you daily in the temple, you did not try to seize me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. Notice the statement, This is your hour and the power of darkness. Jesus understood that the power of darkness was at work, and that these men that came to arrest him were not motivated by themselves but by Satan. Jesus faced six trials within a few hours, and none of them could convict him. Hallelujah. The high priest had to frame something against him out of anger, saying of Jesus, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. That we can find in Matthew 26, verse 65. A few hours later, he was crucified on the cross. Thanks be unto God. He offered himself of his own free will, according to John 10, 17 to 18. Pastor says, the quick trials, unreasonable laws, the lies and unchecked manipulations today aren't new. Hence, we must get on our knees to pray fervently in the spirit, declaring that our cities are dominated by the light of the gospel and impacted by the force of righteousness. We have authority and Jesus is Lord over all. And so concluding, Pastor says, Stand up for him and his church everywhere. Hallelujah. Okay, let's take our confession now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me. I refuse to be intimidated by decrees or laws that are anti-Christian or against the preaching of the gospel. Rather, I'm stead within to pray that the wicked acts schemes, policies and stratagems of Satan to frustrate God's people and the preaching of the gospel around the world be brought to naught in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, for further study, please read 2 Thessalonians 3, 1 to 2 and Proverbs 16, verse 12 of the Amplified Classic. Now, Colossians 1, verse 16 says, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. Hallelujah. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. 
I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.